Hi there, I'm Dr. Regina Zona, and this is Mindset Mondays. So today we're going to talk a little bit about patience. <laughs> so how much patience do you have? Um, I uh, will give you the full disclosure here. I am an instant gratification kind of girl. <laughs> okay, So when I'm hungry, I want to eat within five minutes. Uh, and when I am... Uh, when I really want something that I want to buy, I want it to be in my house the very next day if I cannot get it immediately uh, when I want it. Um, and, you know, when my song is finished, I want mad and thunderous applause. <laughs> so the thing is that I really, really appreciate and desire instant gratification. But one thing I will tell you that is never instant is major change in your vocal technique, okay? When it comes to vocal technique, it takes time for change to happen. Yes, of course, there are some tricks uh, in all styles of singing that can actually get you to achieve a particular result in the short term. But in the long term, those tricks rarely, rarely work. And this is where you have to be patient and just enjoy the process and realize that the change is going to come when it's ready to come. So I'm going to just give you an example in my life. Um, I was uh, uh, I was singing at the Academy of Vocal Arts when I was a young opera singer, and in my first year, actually probably even in my second year, the most consistent feedback that I always got from my coaches was that I needed to get a middle voice. I needed to strengthen my middle voice. And it got to the point where I heard this so much uh, after performances or auditions or whatever that I was so frustrated to the point. I mean, I, of course, had been working on my middle voice. There was no question that I was, uh, that I was really diligently working on it and trying to learn about it. Um, but, you know, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening quickly. And I got to the point I was so frustrated that I was like, you know, literally, if I could go to Walmart and buy a middle voice, then I would be fine with that. I would pay whatever kind of money I needed to pay for a middle voice. So anyway, I went home for the summer after my first year or my second year. I can't remember. It was a really long time ago. Um, and uh, I really, I was teaching all summer, and I really didn't practice on a regular basis. So basically, the singing that I was doing was with my own students. And um, what ended up happening was I went back to AVA the next year, the next fall, and I started to sing, and lo and behold, there was my middle voice. It just appeared. It happened. Now, of course, I was trying to apply the techniques that I had been working on for a year or two or however long it was. But the thing was that finally everything aligned. My body, my mind, my breath, everything aligned. And my middle voice came in. So I wasn't very patient, but eventually it happened when it was ready to happen. So I'm here to tell you that if you are working on particular technical issues in your singing, quick fixes are not going to help you in the long term. You have to be patient and continue to work so that eventually those technical aspects will finally, when they're ready, when you are ready, when your voice is ready, finally come in line. So 
here's four real quick tips. All right. First of all, set realistic expectations. All right. So it's essential that you're realistic about what it is that you are trying to achieve and understand that it takes time and everyone learns at their own pace. So make sure that you focus on the process and the small victories uh, rather than really focusing solely on the final result. Okay. The other thing, number two, is break it down. Break down what that main technical goal is into smaller, more manageable goals so that you start to see progress in achieving the small things, which will then eventually allow you to see the path towards achieving the big thing. Okay. Number three, seek guidance and feedback. Okay, so this uh, should be a no-brainer, but if you have technical issues that you are trying to work on, you better be working with a vocal teacher, <laughs> okay? A voice teacher or a vocal coach that understands what you need technically, okay? They are there to be your ears because you can't trust your ears and so they can hear what it is that you need and guide you along the pro process and give you those places those those little um uh those little victories they can hear when those little victories are coming in and reinforce uh your process as you go through it and and deal with the issues and finally, practice mindfulness and self-compassion. Look, the fact of the matter is that trying to achieve technical goals in your voice, especially when you are a performer and, and making sure that you can sing as well as you know that you can, um, I know that, that that puts a great deal of pressure on you. And so therefore, when you're not achieving those goals as quickly as you want, it can become very, very frustrating and you start to beat yourself up. Maybe you even think, oh man, it's never going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do. But look, none of that mind stuff is actually going to help you. What you need to do is you need to practice diligently. You need to think about the process. You need to celebrate the small victories. And you need to give yourself a little grace when it's not happening as quickly as you like it to. All right? So I have a quote to send you on your way. That quote is, sometimes things aren't clear right away. That's where you need to be patient and persevere and see where things lead. Mary Pierce said that. So I leave you with another great quote. Patience, young grasshopper. I'll see you next week. <laughs>